it's Raziel Kane, I'm back with another tour review and today I'm proud to present another third party figure, my, actually my second one, uh, Stinger Warrior. And the reason I decided to pick up this guy is because, well, just look at the box. He looks like Scorponok more than the Kingdom release looks like Scorponok. Uh, Kingdom release was actually a big disappointment, so I didn't pick him up. Uh, I saw the upgrade kits, I watched all of my favorite YouTubers uh, review on him wasn't going to pick him up and I was totally ready to skip him but then I saw on AliExpress they had a Stinger Warrior at a de decent price plus shipping so I decided to go for it why not and the figure is fantastic but there's a little problem you'll see it in the video I have two um, left foot or two right foot hard to tell Anyway, um, no, actually, no, it's too, it's too right foot. He, uh, he doesn't peg properly when I try to transform him into scorpion mode. And that's uh, slightly disappointing, but I don't display them in beast mode. So I am guess I'm okay with it. Uh, the uh, problem is that I've tried to contact AliExpress and then they referred me to the, uh, but they actually gave me a partial refund. But then all communication with the vendor actually stopped after that because I was trying to tell the vendor, just send me a replacement part. I don't want a refund. But then I had to keep my dispute open to put some pressure on them because it was the Chinese New Year and they just didn't reply that much. They said that the department was going to come back. Anyway, full of fun stuff. But eventually after um, AliExpress gave me the refund, I had no luck with uh, the uh, the vendor, which previously have I have I had no problem with him. Um, well, not him, but this store. Uh, then after that, I tried to contact Transform Element directly. Uh, looks like the, they don't have an actual website, or I can't find it. Um, although I didn't do that much research for it. Then I found their Facebook page, and it hasn't been updated since 2019. I found an email. I sent an email. Let's see what happens from that. Uh, but otherwise, you know, I'm still not that disappointed with the figure because uh, the robot mode looks terrific. Before I take a look at the figure, I'd like you to check out my voice acting playlist, the main feature of my channel, something I'm quite proud of, where I take uh, voice actor of the Transformers show and present them to you. Uh, currently finishing up on G1 and we'll move to probably Beast Wars afterwards. So without further delay, let's roll the intro and look at that figure. Let's take a look at the Man of the Hour, Corbinok, or Stinger Warrior if you want to stick with the uh, released name. And I think it's actually pretty appropriate because he looks pretty badass. Alright, first uh, the box, very plain, I mean, you get the figure on one side, beast mode on the other, and that's it. You know one thing that could have been useful on this box is a phone number or an email, or transform element. There's nothing, uh, even same thing for the instructions. Sorry about the ring light glare, but the instructions are really, they're not great. Honestly, compared to what Asbro has been producing, I think Asbro puts a lot of money in their instruction and cheaps out on plastic. But uh, this, I don't even know why they showed you what to do with the fly, because uh, that um, cyber, I think they called it Cyber B in the show. Anyway, it uh, it doesn't peg anywhere. Uh, I've looked, I checked uh, Kato's video. It's kind of hollow under and in f on top. I mean, it's detailed and all, you know, it looks great. Uh, but uh, there's a little peg here, but it doesn't fit anywhere. So, but you actually can, I'll show, well, I'll show it now. Uh, you can actually move the hand this and kind of pinch 
They be like that. I'll be right back. I have a special cyber beat just for you, Optimus Primal. Enjoy! Okay, I'm back. I actually dropped it and uh, it's the second time I dropped it. The first time we looked for it for half an hour. This thing slides like crazy. I don't know why, maybe it's the shape of it makes it bounce and go further. But yeah, be very careful not to drop this. So you can tell, you can see it now in the, the you can pinch it like this, but it doesn't, uh, it doesn't peg anywhere else. Um, so anyway, but uh, you know, the wings move, you can close the wings and then uh, open it. So it's a good little thing. It just, I wish it would peg somewhere. And if you did find anyone found where it actually pegs, please let me know. And now for the man himself, he looks stunning. I mean, they told me that I was gonna love this guy, but they didn't tell me how much I would love this guy. He's spot on. Like I've rewatched Beast Wars with my four year old not long ago, and this is the same thing. I'm sure if I was to do a side to side, uh, I would you know spot some differences, but he's spot on, he's perfect. Honestly, if it wasn't for the mistakes of assembly, um, which I'll show you here, see? That peg here should be on the inside so that when I transform him, it pegs to form them out. Because uh, that actually uh, becomes uh, the mandibles or the spincer. Uh, yeah, so um, it's, it's, uh, it's disappointing, but... Uh, all right, so let's look at uh, paint application. Uh, it's uh, gray plastic with uh, the purple. And uh, but there it's the face gets most of the paint look at that face i mean the visor and the highlights on the head and the little uh, mandible here it's extremely detailed nice chrome mouth it's it's i'm 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 flabbergasted it's really good i mean third party really if it wasn't for the price of most third party or the scale of most third party i'd probably flush asbro and go with third party but you know you pay for what you get and i paid uh, actually a decent price for this and i'm pretty happy with what i got uh lots of okay the legs they don't hide very well in the back um uh, and they they move around and when you transform them from scorpion to robot they get in the way and but it's not that bad it's really uh, a minor detail uh, but if you look at the uh, the paint, uh, you know, details here, uh, the legs are completely die cast. The whole uh, from the, the knee, uh, including all the, f the, the feet and the head is die cast and the stinger, the, uh, the red part here, that's all die cast. Everything else is plastic and he's superbly articulated. And uh, well, let's go over it. The head is on a joint. A ball joint so it's gonna spin 360 it has no well man nah, not really attitude uh, look down look up look really up so that's nice articulation the arms will go like this to give you the cross they'll spin 360 there's a joint at the shoulder for a 360 a double bend at the elbow and then they'll the hand will rotate 360 the claw will open up like this and then you can move the missiles so if you want to display him pinching you can actually you know hide the missile so that's pretty neat and uh, oh actually you know what I forgot uh, the missiles are die cast too and I have a bit of a paint smudge here paint scratch eh happens um so of course both arms will do this you get no rotation at the waist uh the leg you can split him like a log uh they'll rotate like this a full 360 uh there's no oh no i'm i'm lying there is an elbow rot uh, not an elbow a knee rotation just above uh the knee joint and you have a 90 degree bend the foot will give you a good rocker um, the 
because of transformation, uh, you can pinch the toes and the heel. Uh, but there's no, well, no, there's no back and forth. Uh, so articulation are really not, and then of course the tail, which, you know, it's fairly long. It's, it's really good. Um, very detailed, five points of articulation, and you could actually uh, pinch it more if it, uh, like this. So you can display them how you want, if you want it to go, you know, you don't want to see the stinger, if you want to see the stinger, uh, it's up to your discretion. Uh, playability for kids is really good for that. And I think that's it for articulation. Fantastically articulated figure. And now for some size comparison with Leader Class Kingdom Megatron. And you can see a huge scale difference. Kingdom Black Arachnia. And I think this is where it shows where Scarponok used to be about the same size as her in the show. So he just needed to be a little taller. But I think, you know, for cartoon accuracy, they both look great. Siege Hound and Iron Factory Last Prophet. Uh, we're gonna transform him. And uh, actually for transformation with these guys, I do need the instruction because it's fairly complicated. All right, first thing you wanna do is extend the tail like this. And there you go. So let me just put him in better position. So of course, as you saw, my foot doesn't peg. So basically that hole should be on the other side and it should go in that peg right here, but it doesn't. I'm able to peg it if I flip the whole leg, but then I lose this uh, this shin guard thing that, anyway, thing. Um, so I'm, it, it, you can see how the mouth would be formed with uh, the four, uh, well, the heel and the toes would create some sort of uh, mandible mouth, so. A couple of things that I think is lacking uh, beside the foot. Uh, this section here, as you see, it's not, it's just sitting there. That peg doesn't clip because this is the peg from the inside when you form the robot torso, but it, so it's just sitting there. Uh, I guess it provides more flexibility if you want to articulate the figure, uh, but it's, uh, I don't know, I would have maybe tried to hide that a little better. But no worries, uh, if you put him, the legs don't actually support anything. The, well, the scorpion legs. He's actually sitting on his belly. And uh, I don't think he hides from the side. He doesn't hide the robot parts really well, but you know, when you, you go from this side, it's fantastic. And look at the reach of that stinger. You know, he, well, he's not able to pinch anybody, you know, in front of him, but it's still pretty good. I don't know how the Kingdom Scorpionok, uh's reach is, but I'm guessing it's not, uh, it doesn't look as good because, it, you know, it's more of a real scorpion. Because this is, if you look, these, th those eyes, those are the cartoon eyes that we had. So I think this is a great representation of the Beast Wars alt mode. Articulation, because the shoulders don't peg, you can, you know, move them, but there's also the rotation of the arms uh, from robot mode. They're still all there because really you don't transform the arms. You know, you just extend, well, not extend them. You just place them differently and that's it. So basically all you do is you kind of unfold the back and then put the legs under. And so it's very, very simple, but it's really effective. I mean, it works. You look at that and that scorpion is just perfect. So I'm still, you know, disappointed about the foot thing, but I'll get over it and I probably won't transform him for a long time. And then the cyber bee, you know, I wish it could peg somewhere. I mean, there's a little hole here. There's two holes because they needed, uh, I don't know, something to make the those uh, legs uh, rotate. Oh yeah, the legs. It's really cool because they rotate on 
this inch here connected to the body but then you can also rotate them individually if you want to I don't know I don't know why you would but it, the ball joint makes it easy for rotation and it's a three point well one two and three at the connection points of articulation each leg so you can po pose them really really nicely and I think uh, these legs really uh, they're not too much in the way like in I wish you know they don't support him but they're great for pictures honestly uh, I'm not a picture taker that much but I can see the playability and the value of this figure uh, it's it's way better than this the kingdom mold that's for sure scaling he's uh, pretty short he's shorter than the chug scale but I think it's worth it and now for some size comparison here he is with siege starscream kingdom inferno and siege astro train which takes a lot of space so let's put him back in robot mode and give you my final thoughts So in the end, I'm very happy I have this figure. Am I disappointed that he has two left foot or two right foot? Yes. Um, could he be a little better in the alt mode? Yes. Could he be better in uh, robot mode? No. He's absolutely fantastic. And I'm very happy to have this in my collection. So there you go, guys. That's my review of Transform Element Stinger Warrior. I hope you've enjoyed the review. If you did, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell. Also, leave a comment. I really love reading those. And remember, nothing in life gives you the right to be an asshole. Take care.